Okay, our crash here, and we're going to flash CC3D with Clean Flight. And for those of you that are following along on the tricopter build, if this actually flies, and there is a tricopter build video, <clears throat> I had to trim the cable down so it will fit. But I have some other models that that will work nice, so... That worked out pretty good. So anyway, the trouble I've been having with flashing it is it always gives me an error of the, the bootloader will not respond. So what I've figured out, <clears throat> I have flashed it with the uh, Mini Adreno. Which there's a video <clears throat> the I did on that. FTDI. And my own build FTDI that came with the Micro X. If you have one, you can use this. Anyway, what I figured out is when you power it up and you're jumping the bootloader pins, you must continue to hold that um, jump on the bootloader pins while you click the flash button in Clean Flight. And then it works fine. So I don't know if it's the boards I have or what. But it was the same way with this. And this is one of my first originals. It even says open pilot on the bottom. So I don't know. Maybe it's my computer. But if you're having that trouble where it gets everything's good until you uh, hit flash and, it, and you get a red bar and it says no response from bootloader or something like that, <clears throat> that's the problem. So anyway. You can see the settings I have set up on here. You want it just like that. You want to get your CC3D in here. And then you'll click on this uh, next one. Choose firmware and you'll go to the newest one. Just like that. And then click down here to load it. And then it's loaded. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little Frankenstein unit. See how I have the colors going. And then on the uh, Atom, the bootloader is um, right here. You want to make sure you're just jumping them too, don't touch anything else. And then on the uh, regular ones, it's up in the top corner, it says bootloader and... Yeah. So in this top corner, I have this board sideways. And in clean flight, when you do that, there's a place to adjust it when you turn your board, but that way, the plug's here instead of out here. And you can get to it easier. Anyway, it's up here and it says 3.3 volt and um, bootloader. So you just jumper them too. Okay. So I'm. And with this way, you have to give it power with the Adreno. It gives it power. So I like doing it this way, it seems to be the easiest. And why they don't have you do it with the FTDI, I don't know. I just do what the directions tell you. So i got to hook some power up, so bear with me a second. And I'm just hooking 5 volts up to it. <clears throat> You'll know if you have the bootloader right because it will, uh, the blue light will not come on. It'll just be the green light. Oopsie, there it is. There's the thing. So I didn't have the, uh, I moved the 
pins on the boot loader. Let me try it again. You can see <clears throat> that it can be a pain in the butt to get it to go. And there it finally went. You got to really push down on that. <clears throat> Make sure you're getting a good connection. And I'm using these tweezers. That seems to work the best. I've used my uh, prop tool. But you got to be careful. You don't want to be touching anything else. So if you are having a problem, that's probably it. And it's flashing away. See it down here. And once it's done, it's little blue light will blink, I believe, if I remember right. Let's see, we're about a little over halfway. And it seemed like the Mini Adreno was a little faster flashing it. And it may just be this cheap FTDI. <clears throat> and there it's done. Watch for a blue light. There it blinks. And we'll go ahead and kill our power here. And hook our wheel. and plug in a USB connection. And go up to your welcome screen. Hit connect. And it has clean flight on it. So be sure to watch for my tricopter video. Hopefully it'll be coming out soon on the build. It's a 3D print. And I uh, flashed some uh, ESEs to be at El Heli, which hopefully will help them out because 